Thanks, Robert. And turning now to the coronavirus pandemic, President Biden says by today, 60% of adults will have received at least one COVID-19 vaccine. And with cases falling across the country, several states are beginning to drop their mask mandates. ABC's Ike Jachi has more. It's the question on many minds this morning. Should I take my mask off? Should I leave it on? It's super confusing. I think it's a little too soon. Mask mandates. Right now, the country is inching towards recovery. Nearly 60% of people ages 12 and up have received at least one vaccine dose. Every day, the light at the end of that tunnel is growing brighter. One by one, states are choosing to adopt the CDC's new relaxed mask guidelines for vaccinated Americans. Starting Wednesday, New York will get rid of capacity limits and lift its indoor and outdoor mask rules. If you are vaccinated, uh, you are safe, no masks, no social distancing. But the switch to ditch the mask isn't universal. In California, officials announcing restrictions won't be lifted until June 15th. Health experts there are more cautious, with new variants emerging and a focus on revised mask guidelines. The governor of Illinois following CDC guidelines, but the mayor of Chicago saying, I will continue to wear my mask and is encouraging others to do the same. The varying requirements compounded by businesses. Chains like Starbucks, Walmart, Trader Joe's and Costco, and now Home Depot and Target dropping their mask rules, but only in states without mask mandates. Nearly two thirds of Americans are not yet fully vaccinated, making some people hesitant. I'm gonna wear mine. Uh, for a long time until I feel comfortable not wearing it. But many experts stress the risk of contracting COVID-19 if you're fully vaccinated, it's low. These vaccines are extraordinary and they will protect you even if you're spending time with unvaccinated people. The White House supports the CDC's new guidelines, saying you don't have to trust your fellow American, you only have to trust the science. Aika Jachi, ABC News, Washington.